Well, hello, my YouTube friend. It is this time of the year, uh, just after the USN gathering, early in September, that I'm doing uh, my traditional video about uh, the recap of the show and the scores that I made before the show, just before the show, during the show, uh, and uh, even now these days, <laughs> now this show, some presents that I received. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, this kind of video. But uh, eventually, we will get to the presentation of that knife. Uh, that's why I have those gloves, because I don't, <laughs> I don't want to mess with that beautiful black Timascus. Uh, so yeah, that will be uh, the presentation, the knife presentation, and the rest will be some words about that show. So yeah, the USN Gathering, uh, ninth uh, edition, uh, ninth session of that show, uh, nine years after the first, I mean, I, I've talked to some of the organizers, and uh, yeah, it's becoming more and more, uh, uh, I mean, better and better, sorry, and next year will be, and what the hell? <laughs> I'm killing some animal. I don't know. Ah, well, here I go. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm uh, uh, erratic as usual. I even kill animals now during my video. Uh, I don't know if I succeeded, but whatever. Uh, uh, yeah, ninth uh, edition of the US and Gathering, and it's coming, becoming better and better. Uh, more for me because uh, I get to know better uh you guys you collectors and each time we can appreciate uh more our meeting and for that i thank you so much because i had a tremendous blast uh especially since this year my dear dear friend doc slava uh was there with uh, i mean this show was phenomenal i can I cannot imagine a better show, so hopefully the next uh, one will come, uh, will be just as good, and that will suffice by far. I will be more than content if all the other shows were as good as this one. So yeah, during those shows, uh, you can get knives, uh, I mean, in a different way. You can have pre-scores, uh, just like pre-scores of the show. Uh, this is uh, my pre-score. I mean, I got it right before the show, so I can consider that as uh, a G9 show, a G9 score. Sorry, uh, you can get knives through lotteries, through auction. I've discussed about that relentlessly in my videos. Uh, of course, you have the deliveries. Luckily, I had some deliveries uh, because other than that, I was not really. Look at this beauty. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite knives in my collection. And of course, it will have its own review shortly. Uh, yeah, deliveries, auction, lotteries. Yeah, I was not really happy in lotteries, but uh, I couldn't care less. As I said, for, for me, that show, the more important is uh, to get to, uh, to meet you guys and, uh, and the makers uh, and to enjoy the time spending with them. Check that marvel. Only three of those were made. And of course, also this will have its own video. Derek Monroe uh, is just a tremendous maker and I absolutely adore this little package called the Glyph. Beautiful. So yeah, uh, scores and even presents. <laughs> Check those beautiful gifts that I received from my Oh, he would he will hate me <laughs> to 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 say that, but this is those are presents, and I have to give him a tribute from my brother, Doc Slava. Check that cutter. He knows that I love cigars, so I need to have some uh, pieces to cut my cigar, of course. And this lighter, man, that, that 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 is scary. I need to take some distance to show you that. Otherwise, I'm gonna damn it. It doesn't show. <laughs> That's the, the, the strongest lighter that I've never seen. So yeah, uh, even some presents during that show. Uh, uh, and uh, again, that show was a, a, a true success. Uh, and thank you everyone for that. So yeah, like I said, uh, a couple of words about that show. But now I'm going to remove those pieces. And I'm going to talk about... Oh, I even bought that. I'm usually not into those things, but... And the guy who made it uh, uh, was incredibly kind, and uh, I found it to be, you know, kind of neat. So yeah, whatever, I bought it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, like I said, the matter of the day is to present, uh, all the others will have their own video, is to present that magnificent knife from Chanel. So a word about that. Uh, I really wanted to do that video quick, because that knife took... Uh, 
over three years uh, for me to, to get here. So a little story about that. Chad Nell, uh, for those of you who don't know him, uh, is uh, making knives for quite a while, fixed blades. He doesn't make a lot of them, but his uh, book are either closed or you got to wait a long, long time uh, to get his fixed blade. He does maybe five or six per year, and he's very well known for being one of the master uh, loveless grinder uh, for fixed blade. So basically, he decided one day, I don't know when, maybe three, over three years ago, uh, to make uh, folders. Uh, so, you know, as all the makers, probably you, at some point you want to you want to try those. And uh, he did it. Uh, and I was probably one of the very first to buy, uh, to buy uh, one of his folders. So it was good, but it had some issues with the lock. It was uh, sticky, then it was failing. Uh, and since I live in France, uh, I discussed with him and it was kind of hassle to ship back the knife. Uh, and he told me like that, okay, you can keep it, use it, do whatever you want with it. And eventually someday, if you want another knife from me, you will just you know buy the materials uh, and get uh, this knife from me. So. I was a bit reluctant to take another one from him because actually what I liked and what drove me to that guy uh, was his uh, loveless grind. Then, one day, <laughs> he decided to start a make it lo loveless grind on uh, his uh, folder and I've been waiting and waiting, but then I realized that I really needed to have that. That, that, that is exactly what I wanted to have from the start. So I contacted him again and I said, Chad, uh, do you remember me? <laughs> of course he did. Uh, and you know, since now, it looks like you improved dramatically, and man, he did. <laughs> the, build, the, build, uh, the build of your folder, since you, it looks like they're now really fantastic. And plus, you make a dollar of less grind. Uh, can we resume? Check that mirror. Man, you can see what kind of fun I have. <laughs> and what I am filming with. I'm not chilling you when I say that all my videos is done with the iPhone. It's exactly what I do. Everything. I don't use uh, more than that. Okay, so yeah, since you do the loveless grind now, you do the folders pretty good, would you decide to go back and make me uh, that build? And he said, yeah, yeah, of course. And as I promised you, you just have to buy the material uh, and that's it. And honestly, I, I was not even, you know, uh, uh, willing to, to accept it. I would have, you know, paid him more for that, but it was the deal. And I couldn't believe that, uh, uh, Actually, yeah, I did because that's a gentleman. So of course you stand for your word. Uh, and he said, yeah, you, you know, you can buy whatever material and I'll make you uh, the knife. So I said, what the heck? Uh, let's go crazy and let's do uh, a beautiful build. So I'm gonna buy the black Damascus with this new pattern. Check that marvel, the Kraken, Kraken pattern. Phenomenal. So yeah, I'll buy the pieces and you buy me and you make me a knife. Say yes. And and. <laughs> That to me is amazing. Uh, uh, the offer uh, uh, to begin with was amazing because it has a lot of work involved in it. So yeah, I'm honestly glad if you watch this video, thank you so much for being the gentleman that you are and congratulations for being the extraordinary maker that you are. I mean, as I said, to me, uh, uh, of the contemporary makers, you have maybe only Chad Nell and uh, David Sharp that are that that accurate and that extraordinary in reproducing Loveless Grind, which for those of you who don't know, may seem a simple grind, but that's an extremely, extremely hard uh, grind to get. Uh, a lot have tried, a lot and most have failed. Uh, only very few can do that kind of achievement. And man, with that mirror polish finish, it's just exceptional, exceptional. I'm overwhelmed each time I look at this beauty. So yeah, uh, what do we have here? So yeah, that's, he, he took, okay, this base of, I think it's an ESG, I, I can't say for sure, uh, but whatever, he, he, he took his handle, and if you look at it, there is something that maybe uh, you will see, or at least for me, it's uh, something that usually bothers me. It's the discrepancy uh, between the length of the blade and the, the handle. So the blade uh, handle ratio. Uh, 
Usually it bothers me, but after speaking with Chad, I understood his reason. First of all, he is like OCD when it comes to Loveless Grind, so he wanted to keep the New York Special Grind, which is the exact length, the exact flow of the line here. So that's a grind that you could have uh, uh, seen made by, uh, by Bob Loveless, okay? So he wanted to keep exactly that configuration. Then again, it's a blade that it, that was made by Bob, so for uh, it's a user, so for fixed blade, you know. So the handle uh, also is a user, and remember that Bob did knives not to showcase or whatever. Uh, Bob did knives for hunting. I mean, those were designed that was made for to cut the beast, and <laughs> and those were hunting knives. Uh, so of course the handle uh, you couldn't expect to have a small. A handle, you know, that you would carry with three fingers only. No, no, no. The handle had to be secure. So basically, Chad uh, made exactly a, a kind of almost if it was a fixed blade from um, from Bob Loveless, and he did it in folder. So yeah, you have a very nice reach, and my hands are almost Excel, I would say. So yeah, uh, uh, in order for you to have the New York Special, uh, you would have either to make it. A longer blade, which he could, or make a smaller uh, handle, but he wouldn't accept neither to uh, to I mean to make the blade higher, bigger. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a New York special, and he wouldn't accept the to make a smaller handle who wouldn't be a, a comfortable carry. So for that, and for that reason, not only do I accept that, but I consider that to be absolutely. Uh, uh, I mean really thoughtful, uh, really thought after, uh, and I like when it's uh, thought after. I mean, to me, I hate the discrepancy. Why? Because I consider that it's like, it's, it's, the maker didn't think about that. For some reason, he, 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 he didn't put the enough length on the blade. He, he didn't think about making a knife that would have a nice ratio. On this one, it was, everything was, uh, was uh, thought after. So that I really appreciate. So now, check the, the action. It becomes, I mean, check that Check the detent, hear that. Boom! It's extraordinary. It's it flips like nothing, and the tolerances are such that if you put just put your finger on the lock, that won't budge. Believe me, if you like try to flip it like that, look, my finger is there, I can put all my strength, it won't open. So you really need to be away from the lock, and then it fires like a little rocket. Now the grind, I've talked about that. For those of you who know uh, loveless grind, check that. It's like for me, it's poetry, poetry. And the mirror is just insane. The hollow is dramatic. And that's, I mean, to me, as if I had like an original Loveless, I'm really, really extremely pleased and overwhelmed. I could spend a day checking the details of that grind to see that. That's, honestly, that's pure poetry. I, I couldn't be happier than that. Check that. Man, it's such a beautiful thing. And then again, those pieces and and honestly i don't know uh, aks is doing a, just a fantastic job getting those material of course you need to know how to to work with them but <sighs> chad is doing a, such a fantastic job check that you see the the, the zerk the the timascus i mean the, the, those mix of material between the zirconium and the titanium is just phenomenal check that clip following perfectly the pattern oh, man I, and the backspacer floating backspacer beautiful beautiful i wanted you to just show the details of that knife that is just fantastic now check that engagement you've seen that the center it's smooth as butter as it should be that piece my friends is just again one of the great pieces in my collection and, and uh I couldn't thank, oh, when we are heading to the 15 minutes, I'm sorry about that. I spoke too much probably on that video, and I really, really wanted to thank again Chad and to congratulate him. I mean, the the that to me makes him now one of the most uh, underrated maker in the market. So my friends, try to get a knife from him. You would be more than happy. I mean, he had a table. He, he, he was probably not comfortable enough again to make like lottery or stuff like that. But the minute he opened his table, uh, the knife were gone like like in, in a matter of seconds. So yeah, if you get a chance to get a knife from him, just just run. And I will try eventually uh, uh, to get a fixed bait from him because that's just 
phenomenal. So with that being said, my friend, I'll leave it at that. And of course, you will have uh, reviews of all the other knives that I got. It was a pleasure to make that uh, video. Uh, bye, bye, my friend. I'll see you very soon.